Could humans live on Earth's sister planet Venus? Venus is often referred to as our sister planet because of similarities in size, mass, density, and volume. It's believed that both planets share a common origin, forming at about the same time around 4.5 billion years ago. When we think about the possibility of humans exploring and colonizing other planets, Venus often takes a back seat to places like Mars or the Moon. This is not without good reason. The combination of extreme temperatures, high atmospheric pressure, a toxic atmosphere, and the absence of breathable oxygen makes Venus an extremely challenging environment for human exploration and colonization. These harsh conditions present challenging obstacles for humans, requiring advanced technology and resource-intensive solutions to even consider the possibility of exploring Venus. In this video, we will delve into the compelling facts and reasons why Venus remains a challenging and unlikely candidate for human exploration and habitation. Venus is an incredibly challenging place for humans to live or explore due to the scorching surface temperatures, with an average surface temperature that goes beyond 450 degrees Celsius. This extreme heat is due to a runaway greenhouse effect, making the planet inhospitable for humans. Additionally, the atmospheric pressure on Venus is about 92 times that of Earth, which is about the same as being a kilometer below the ocean's surface on Earth. This high pressure means it exerts an immense crushing force on everything, making it difficult for humans or even probes and rovers to survive there. The planet's atmosphere is 96.5% carbon dioxide. This high concentration of CO2 is harmful to humans, and thick sulfuric acid clouds envelop Venus, creating a deadly corrosive environment. Despite its harsh environment, Venus may have water vapor in its upper atmosphere, and in the form of ice at its poles. Scientists believe the only place where liquid water could exist on Venus is in the cloud tops, where the temperature and pressure are more favorable. Scientists also believe that Venus may have had liquid water on its surface in the past. Liquid water is essential for life as we know it. By studying Venus, scientists hope to learn more about whether or not life ever existed on the planet. And if so, what happened to it? Even if liquid water could be found on Venus, extracting and storing it would be a huge challenge. The high temperature and pressure would make it difficult to collect and transport the water without it evaporating or boiling away. Additionally, the corrosive nature of the atmosphere would quickly degrade any equipment used to extract and store the water. The surface of Venus is an extremely hostile environment. It is characterized by active volcanism, frequent and intense lightning storms, abrasive surface materials, and limited mobility and infrastructure challenges. Active volcanism on Venus is a major hazard. The planet has over 1,600 known volcanoes, some of which are still active. Volcanic eruptions can spew ash and lava into the atmosphere, which can damage spacecraft and equipment. Venus is also prone to frequent and intense lightning storms. The lightning bolts on Venus are much more powerful than those on Earth, and they can cause serious damage to electric equipment. The surface of Venus is covered in sharp rocks and jagged terrain. This makes it difficult to move around on the planet without damaging equipment or injuring people. One of the biggest challenges is the development of heat-resistant materials that can withstand the extreme temperatures on Venus. The surface temperature of Venus can reach up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. This means that any spacecraft or equipment sent to Venus must be made of materials that can withstand these extreme temperatures. Additionally, any human habitats on Venus would need to be carefully insulated and cooled to provide a comfortable environment for astronauts. So far, the longest any spacecraft has survived on the surface is a little over two hours, a record set by the Soviet Union's Venera 13 probe in 1981. Long-term sustainability and life support systems are essential for any future human exploration of space. Astronauts on Venus would need to be able to produce their own food, water, and oxygen, and they would need to be protected from the harsh environment. New technologies will need to be developed to create sustainable life support systems for Venus exploration. As if the surface conditions weren't bad enough, unlike Earth, Venus lacks a protective magnetic field 
that could shield its surface from harmful solar and cosmic radiation and solar wind, which consists of charged particles emitted by the sun. On Earth, our magnetic field and atmosphere effectively shield us from most of these harmful particles, allowing life to flourish. On Venus, however, the lack of such protection exposes anyone and anything on the surface to high levels of radiation. These particles can damage DNA, harm cells, and increase the risk of cancer in humans. For long-term habitation, the health risks associated with prolonged radiation exposure become even more pronounced. Addressing these radiation challenges would require advanced technologies for shielding, which are currently beyond our capabilities. There are many different ways to study Venus. One is to use remote robotic missions. Robotic missions can be used to explore the planet's surface and atmosphere without putting human astronauts at risk. Robotic missions, mostly during the 1980s, have already provided scientists with a wealth of information about Venus. But there is still much more to learn. But the thick atmosphere and high temperatures on Venus make it difficult to safely land spacecraft and equipment on the surface. Another way to study Venus is to use orbital platforms. Orbital platforms are spacecraft that orbit a planet or other celestial body. Orbital platforms can be used to study the planet's atmosphere and surface from a distance. Orbital platforms can also be used to relay data from robotic missions on the surface of Venus back to Earth for analysis. One of the biggest challenges for exploring and possibly inhabiting Venus comes from a limited resource on Earth, funding. Venus missions are expensive due to the immense technical and engineering requirements needed to withstand its harsh conditions. Second, there's fierce competition for resources and funding in the field of space exploration. Many countries and organizations have limited budgets and they must prioritize which missions to fund. Venus missions often face stiff competition from other, more compelling space endeavors, such as Mars exploration or lunar missions, which can divert funds away from Venus. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you think humans will ever live on Venus? If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more exciting space-related content, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. What other space topics would you like us to explore? Stay curious and keep exploring the cosmos with us.